So hello, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for sticking around for this late talk in the day. Uh, today, I'm going to give you a brief overview on a Python package, an open source one we developed called Eugene, a uh, Python toolkit for predictive analysis of regulatory sequences. So the biological focus of my short talk today is on gene regulation, specifically the uh, process of transcription or the generation of these messenger RNA molecules that serve as intermediate functional gene products. And we can define the regulatory genome then as everything that influences the timing, location, and quantity of gene expression. And, and building maps that really tell us how this regulatory function is encoded in our DNA uh, is one of the fundamental challenges of genomics research. And more specifically, we'd like to build quantitative and context-specific maps um, that tell us not only where functional regulatory DNA exists, but also the uh, effect of variation in that sequence at nucleotide resolution. Uh, but this space is kind of currently intractable to experimentally resolve. So what we do as computational biologists is build models um, and a particular modeling strategy that has become, you know, very gained a lot of attention in the last 10 years or so uh, has been to predict functional genomics data uh, from DNA sequence alone. Uh, and this allows us to ask many diverse questions and distinct questions about how uh, the transcription is regulated by information encoded solely in DNA. But this explosive growth is not without technical challenges as always. Uh, building these sequence-based deep learners involves many steps, each with specifics uh, that are, are specifics nuances that are specific to genomic sequences. Uh, and though conceptually, a lot of these are pretty straightforward, many of them are not often handled well by generic machine learning platforms. Uh, and so this in turn can lead, has led to the development of several tools and code bases that unfortunately are often compatible with a single model or model type um, and don't work well with each other. And so by themselves, all these tools and code uh, are not comprehensive enough to run this full workflow end to end. And this in turn causes several problems for both tool users and developers. Uh, it hurts research and reuse, uh, it hurts reuse and reproducibility, leading to less trust in our models. Uh, it creates this disconnect between those who generate the data uh, and the methods and models that can extract insights from this data. Uh, and it just plain slows down research. So all this really motivated us to develop a open source Python package called Eugene or elucidating the utility of genomic elements with neural nets. Uh, in this presentation, I'll just briefly highlight the hallmarks for each of the major stages of the workflow illustrated on this slide. But if you're interested in more of the details, you can check out our preprint, Eugene's GitHub, uh, and the documentation pages. So for data handling in Eugene, we built standalone Python packages called SeekData and SeekPro. Uh, that very flexibly read files from on-disk formats into X-ray data sets that are backed by these czar stores. We then implement on top of this many functions that can be called directly on these X-ray data sets to perform, my cursor's showing it, doesn't matter, um, one-hot encoding of sequences really fast, uh, target normalization, data visualization, and conversion of this data format into formats that are ingestible by deep learning frameworks like PyTorch. For model building and training, Eugene serves as a nice bridge between the PyTorch deep learning library and the sequence-based models offering a growing zoo of customizable model architectures that can be instantiated with single function calls, uh, several methods for initializing those models, um, and a PyTorch lighting interface for training models and using them for inference. Finally, for model interpretation, Eugene provides a suite of analysis tools commonly used for these sequence-based deep learners, including functionality for feature attribution, global importance analysis, uh, and sequence evolution, all implemented in another standalone uh, Python package called Seek Explainer. Uh, in practice, these features make Eugene a great tool for improving reproducibility and reuse, which we highlight in three diverse use cases on our preprint, um, and many more in our dedicated use cases GitHub repository here. By aggregating all these methods and models together um, in one tool, we uh, one modular, easily accessible, and user-friendly tool, Eugene uh, lowers the barrier uh, for both data generators and computational scientists to access these methods. And finally, Eugene shifts the focus from reinventing the wheel 
to innovating it, allowing users and developers to more readily move their research forward. And just in summary, hope I've convinced you that Eugene addresses these unmet need for a simplified and comprehensive framework for doing this. And we do envision, I'll say quickly, something very similar to those single cell enthusiasts out there the, in the SCverse framework uh, for doing this in the future. And with that, I'd like to thank my wonderful collaborators um, and funding sources, and also thank BOSC and ISMB for giving me a chance to present my work. A couple links here. If you're interested in chatting more, please come find me. <laughs>